Hey friends, my name is Z, and you're watching here, Mr. Easy. And welcome back to a new video for ALM for the medicine city. We have 3.2 for the sums of squares and cubes for the rules and examples video. And we'll get started with the sums of squares and cubes, but before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring on the notification button to listen in any future videos. And we'll get started with the sum of squares and cubes. So here we have the sum, we have the squares and the cubes, starting with the squares. The formula for the sum of the squares for the first n natural numbers is equal to this formula right here. What well, is basically the sum of r, r squared, the sum of squares, from r equals 1 to r equals n, is equal to 1 over 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And the cubes. The formula for the sum of cubes of the first n natural numbers is equal to the sum of r cubed from r equals 1 to r equals n equals 1 over 4 times n squared times n plus 1 squared, like so. As you can see, these two formulas. So here's an example for the sum of sum of cubes. So the sum of cubes uh, from uh, the sum of r cubed from r equals 1 to r equals 25 is equal to 1 over 4 times 25 squared, because 25 is the n right here. And n plus 1 is 26, so 26 squared, and it's equal to 105625. What this means visually is, or like mathematically, is basically the sum of the number 1 to 25, each and each number squared, and the sum of that. So let's say when r equals 1, it'll be 1 cube, plus when r equals 2 is 2 cube, plus 3 cube, plus so on, until it becomes 24 cube, plus 25 cube, like so. And here we basically have a summary of all the sums we've encountered in series. So these two are the ones that we looked into the last lesson. So here we have the sum of 1s. The sum of 1 from r equals 1 to n is equal to n. And the sum of n integers is the sum of r from r equals 1 to n equals half n, n times 1. And the sum of n squared is where the sum of r cubed from r equals 1 to n equals 1 over 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And the sum of n cubes, which we looked into these two just now, is equal to the sum of r cubed from r equals 1 to n equals a 1, a 1 over 4 times n squared times n plus 1 squared. So here we have a note. Uh, basically, the sum of, r, uh, the sum of uh, n cubes is equal to the sum of n integers squared. And we can notice this between the sum of n integers and the sum of n cubes. So as you can see from these two, they are quite similar. But this one right here is the square of this. So for example, half is um, half squared is one over four, n squared is uh, n, n squared is n squared, and n plus one squared is n plus one squared right here. And here we have the summary of all rules which we've encountered in the past few lessons. So here we have the sum of uh, the start of a series that doesn't start at r equals one. To find the sum of start of a series that doesn't start at r equals 1, which means that the lower limit isn't 1, we use this formula right here. So here is, here's the formula. So basically, as you can see, k isn't 1, so let's assume that k isn't 1, and k is a positive integer. So basically, this can be split into this right here, these two um, sum, where it's basically from r equals 1 and r equals 1, that's the aim, and to n, it's always to n for the first one. And for the, for the upper limit for the second sum, it's basically this number here, minus 1, so k minus 1. So for example, we have the sum of r from r equals 25 to 50. We can see that 25 is in the 1. So we split into the original integral, uh, not integral, sorry, the sum. So basically the sum of r from r equals 1 to 50, minus the sum of r from r equals 1 to 24, because 24 is 25 minus 1, and just solve from there. And here we have, we have constants in the series. We can rearrange expressions involving sigma notation, and this allows you to evaluate the sums of more complicated series. So for example, you can basically just uh, take out a constant or split the two, uh, two functions. And here's a proof of why we can take out a constant. So we know that if the constant is like, let's say k, it will be the sum of kr from r equals 1 to n, so it will be k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k plus whatever k equals nk. And we can basically factorize k out to get k times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus blah 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 blah. And that gets us k times the sum of r, like so. And here we have some examples. So number one, 
show that uh, the sum of r squared from r equals n plus 1 to 2n equals 1 over 6n times 2n plus 1 times 7n plus 1. So what we can do is that we can we first have to split this because this isn't in the base of 1 or the lower limit isn't 1. So let's just split into, let's just, uh, split into two sums. So r squared equals r n plus 1 to 2n. This is equal to the sum of r squared from r equals 1 to 2n minus the sum of r squared from r equals 1 to n because it's basically n plus 1 minus 1. And let's just evaluate this. So we know that the sum of r squared is equal to a 6. Uh, 6, let me just write it up here. 1 over 6 and n plus 1 to n plus 1, like so. So it will be a 6, a 1 over 6. n in this case is 2n times 2n plus 1 times 2 times 2 times 2n plus 1. So 2 times 2n is 4n, so 4n plus 1. So 4n plus 1, like so. Minus uh, just the normal sum, so just 6, a 6 of n n plus 1 and 2n plus 1 like so so as you can see we have to get into this formula right here and we can see that we have we need a sixth an n and 2n plus 1 which we can factorize therefore we can start by factorizing those so a sixth n and 2n plus 1 that means we're taking out this this and this from the first term and this 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 from the second term leaving us 2 times 4n plus 1 minus n plus 1, bracket n plus 1, like so. Therefore, we can simplify it to get, let me use this new color, a sixth n, 2n plus 1, and this is basically 8n minus n, which is 7n, so 7n, and this is 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 1, so 2 minus 1 is plus 1, so 7n plus 1, and that's the final answer. And part b, Verify the results is true for n equals 1 and n equals 2. So this one right here, we have to just substitute n equals 1 and n equals 2 into the original sum uh, manually. So, so when n equals 1, we have to just do this. The left hand, we can set this as the left hand side and this as the right hand side. So when n equals 1, the left hand side is equal to the sum of r squared from r equals, what is it? n plus 1. So it'll be r equals 2, oops, r equals 2, oops, r equals 2, and the, the top is 2n, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. So it's just a sum of r squared from 2 to 2, which is just basically equal to 2 squared, so 2 squared, which is equal to 4. And for the right hand side, it's equal to a sixth n, 2n plus 1, 7n plus 1, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so yep. So when r when n equals one, it will be basically a sixth. Let me just use this notation. When n equals one, it will be equal to a sixth. Let me just put it into my calculator. One over six times one times two times one plus one times seven times one plus one, and that gets us four. And we can see that both results are the same. Therefore, it's true. Four n equals one. And for n equals 2, however, let's just do it right here. So n equals 2. Left hand side will be equal to the sum of r squared from r equals, let me see the bottom limit. The bottom limit is n plus 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. And the top limit is r squared, which is in this case is 4. Therefore, it's equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is equal to 9 plus 16, which is equal to 25. So like so, and the right hand side, however, is equal to a sixth times n, which is times n, which is equal to two, and two times two plus one, and seven times two plus one, and that theoretically should get us twenty-five, which we've shown that it's equal to one another. Therefore, QED, which show, which, which means that what needs to be shown has been shown. QED. Oops. D. So, and here we have more examples. Show that the sum of r squared plus r minus 2 from r equals 1 to n equals this expression right here. 
So we can you first have to split this into three different sums. So it will be equal to r squared. So let's just rewrite it r squared plus r minus 2 from r equals 1 to n equals the sum of r squared from r equals 1 to n plus the sum of r from r equals 1 to n minus 2 sum of 1 from r equals 1 to n. The reason why I put 1 here instead of just 2 is because the sum of 1s can only deal with 1, but we'll just factor, we'll just factor in the 2 later by just multiplying the result by 2. So we know that this um, this one right here is equal to half, uh, 1 over 6 times n plus n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So it will be equal to 1 over 6 n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. And this is equal to half n, oops, half n, n plus 1. And this is just 2n because this is equal to n and 2 times n is equal to 2n. So, if, so we have to look at what we need. So we need a, a 1 over 3n at the front. Therefore, we have to factorize 1 over 3n. But if we were to factorize 1 over 3n, we can see that we can factorize this, but this won't be a nice number, right? Because 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 3 is 1 over 6, which isn't really nice. So what we can do is that we can, is that we can factorize a multiple of 1 over 3. So we can, let's say we can factorize 1 over 6, right? So let's say if we were to factorize 1 over 6, 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 6 would be equal to just 1, and 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 6 would be equal to 3, and so on. So let's just factorize a 1 over 6n out, 1 over 6n. So the first one will be just n plus 1, and 2n plus 1. Second one will be equal to half uh, 1 over 2, divided by 1 over 6, which gets us 1, sorry, which gets us 3. Because it basically just divide and multiply. And it'll be 3 times n plus 1. And the last one, minus 2, divide by 1 over 6, and that gets us minus 12. Like so. So now we have to just factorize the, uh, the, the expanded bracket and factorize and so on. So it'll be 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 plus 3n plus 3 minus 12. And just basically um, simplify it, 1 over 6 and oops, 1 over 6 n times 2 n squared and 6 plus 6 n and 1 plus 3 which is 4, 4 minus 12 is minus 8, minus 8 like so. So at this point we notice that we have a 1 over 6 in the front but we need a 1 over 3. What we can do is that we can factorize a 2 from each term. Notice that, and let me just rub the top out because there's no more space. Mm, yeah, I'll just rub this point just up here. So I'll just draw it up here. So we can notice that we have to factorize uh, 2, so therefore it will be equal to 1 over 6 times 2 times n times n squared plus 3n minus 4, which is equal to 1 over 3 because 2 times 1 over 6 is 1 over 3. n n squared plus 3n minus 4 and if we were to uh, factorize it, it'll be 1 over 3 oops, it'll be 1 over 3 1 over 3 n, oops, let me just rewrite it be 1 over 3 n n plus 4 and n minus 1 and that's the answer and for the last question, for the last part Hence, find the sum of the terms of the series from 4, um, 4 plus 10 plus blah 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 plus 418. So usually when we have these kind of questions, we know that this is linked to this question. So therefore, we know that this series is basically the same as this series right here. So a way to verify it is that we can basically just find, um, put r, r equals 1. So when r equals 1, it will be 1 squared plus 1 minus 2, which is equal to 0. So when r equals 1, is equal to 0. When r equals 2, it will be 2 squared plus 2 minus 2, which is equal to 4, right? And when r equals 3, it will be equal to 3 squared plus 3 minus 2 equals 10. So we can see that it basically follows the pattern, but it's missing this r equals 1, which we'll look into it later. But now we have to find which term 418 is. So to find which term 418 is, we can just do r squared plus r minus 2 equals 418 
factorize it to get R, which I'll do it in my calculator to save, to save some time. So that it's equal to, so R equals to 20. It's either, it's either 20 or minus 21, and we know that it can't be t minus, so it's equal to 20. So therefore we can write this expression for the sum of this series to be the sum of R squared plus R minus 2 from R equals 2 um, to 20. So, notice how there's no sum from R equals 1, because R equals 1 isn't in the sum. Plus, if you were to just do R equals 1 anyway, R equals 1 is 0, so it won't really affect. So, actually, I can just put this equals R, I can just put this for um, what R equals 1, because we know R equals 1 is 0, so it won't really affect it anyway. So, do you know that this expression right here is equal to a third n, n plus 4, n plus 1, and we know that n in this case is equal to 20, so we can substitute n by 20. So this is equal to half times n times, let me just put into my calculator, uh, sorry, not a half, it's a third, times 20, times 20 plus 4, times 20 minus 1, and that gets us 3040. 3040, oops, let me just write it pr uh, properly, 3040. And that's the answer. And here we have the last question, and it's a challenging question, so I'll just set this as like a extension question for you to answer. So if you've answered this question, just leave them, leave your answers in the comment section. I won't go to the answers here, but I will just talk through it. So what we can do is that we can basically just spot some patterns. So we know that n is even, so we have to evaluate this expression right here. So we can see that every odd number is attached to a positive, right? So like 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared. So what we can do is that we can, uh, we can group some terms. So it can be 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus dot 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 dot. And it's to plus, we can do it minus actually. 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 6 squared plus n squared plus dot 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 plus n squared like so. We can notice how it's because it's have to times, 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 right? And notice how each even number is attached to a negative, like so. Therefore, we can basically just factorize a negative out of all of them. So it's basically now the sum of um, odd numbers minus the sum of even numbers. And just think of ways to express odd numbers and even numbers. And here's a hint, you can express it as 2k plus 1 or 2k or 2k minus 1 and so on. And if you've gotten the answer, just leave that in the comment section and I'll reply to it and I'll give you a thumbs up. And that's the final answer. And this is for this video for 3.2 for the sums of squares and cubes for the rules and examples video. And I hope you'll find it helpful and useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification button so that you don't any future videos. And if you have any questions or any comments regarding my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description. Or you can type it on your browser at www.yemitseasy.com. And I hope you'll find it helpful and useful and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be 3.2 for the sums of squares and cubes for the questions video, which will be fun and interesting and it will be the last lesson for, the ch uh, for chapter 3. And in our next topic, we'll look into the roots of polynomials. But anyways, I hope you'll find it useful and helpful, and I'll see you all in, in the next video. Until then, stay safe, and happy learning.